Uh, I'm just so nervous. Like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Julian Albino. I'm gonna show you guys my apartment in Medida, Mexico, where I've been staying at. But I am actually reporting live from the airport. Yes, my time in Mexico has come to an end. I'm actually at LAX airport here in the United States. So like five days ago, I left Mexico and flew back to the United States. I actually, I flew to Vegas to meet up with some of my friends for the weekend, just to reconnect. Um, I was really feeling lonely, you know? So it was really good to see my friends, hang out, just get recharged before like taking on a new country. So I went to Vegas for a couple days and I actually just flew from Vegas to LAX where I am currently at and I am waiting to take off on this international flight. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I have been wanting to go to this country for for as long as I can remember. Like, I have been wanting to go. And the fact that it's about to happen is just like surreal. But I wanna know if you guys can guess like where exactly I'm going. I'm not gonna say it yet. Let me know below in the comments which country uh, you think I'm going to. I will give you a hint. Let's see. Dang, I feel like if I give you like the hints that I'm thinking of, they're just like easy giveaways. So I don't know, just let me know below in the comments. Um, yeah, which country you guys think I'm going to. But I do wanna show you guys my apartment in Mexico. Now that I am moved out, I feel like this is a good time to show it. Of course, you know, watch to the end of the video and subscribe because I will go over um, how I found the apartment, the monthly costs, what was included and of course i'll have the uh, owner's contact information sorry i feel like my voice is still waking up i was knocked out on that flight um here to lax like knocked out so i'm still trying to wake up but i wanted to go ahead and shoot this really quick for you guys and yeah make sure you subscribe we have a lot coming like i'm going to a brand new continent so i'm excited kind of nervous, kind of anxious. It's a lot of feelings going on, but I just feel like a change is coming. I'm ready and open for that change. All right, let's take a look inside. <laughs> We're gonna start in the kitchen. I love the uh, floating hood vent. And then you have a nice island right here uh, with an electric stove top. Uh, the kitchen comes fully equipped. So of course, all appliances, stainless steel refrigerator. Um, and it also comes with pretty much everything you need to cook and live. So here you have all of your utensils. And then up here, um, wine glasses, regular glasses there, and your plate. Yeah, like so pretty much literally everything you see came with the apartment. I didn't have to bring anything, which I love. I'm gonna show you the refrigerator. Don't judge me, I don't cook, <laughs> which is sad. So yeah, it's really nothing in there. I eat out like every day. Look at that, completely empty. And I've been here like three weeks now, so that's really embarrassing. And then here is the, um, I guess the dining area. Um, I kind of use it as like my office, just sit here. This is where I like do my real estate work and like edit videos. But yeah, it's a pretty large table. And then this is the uh, living area here. I love that it came with, um, a big TV, like I love that. My last place had a very small, like 28 inch TV. But yeah, TV there, couch right there. And then the balcony is there, but we're gonna wait to the end for that because it's literally my favorite part. I love the view, love, love, love that view. All right, and then this is the uh, secondary bedroom. It's pretty basic, honestly. Just a bed, 
which is crazy. I actually have a friend coming in town today, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, this is where they will be sleeping. And then this window, which is kind of cool, it opens. And that's like the common area. Yeah. Okay. So let's make our way to the secondary bathroom. Here it is right here. Nice walk-in shower. And then this is the, um, the counter. That is granito, which is granite. And that's me. Hi. <laughs> And then right this way is the master. Look at that view. Love that view. That is what I see every morning waking up. I love it. I believe that's a uh, queen size bed. The bed is actually really comfortable. Like I will have to give her, um, the owner, a thumbs up on that. Super comfortable. And then that's the AC unit. I noticed when I was uh, doing like a walkthrough yesterday um, that there's only an AC unit in the master bedroom and in the like living room. There's not one in the, the second bedroom. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are interested. But um, one thing I don't like, I don't like having the AC unit above the uh, bed because that, you know, the air just comes like straight on your face. I'm not a fan of that, but whatever. And then, Straight ahead, that's the bathroom and toilet area. They are separate, um, but it's very open. You know, nothing's like really enclosed. It's just like an open concept. So yeah, that's the sink area there. And then that's where, you know, you do what you gotta do. And that is the shower. And of course it has a, this is the door here. So you, of course you can close that like that. And then this is the closet area where you hang up your clothes. Most of my clothes are either still in my suitcase or over there in the uh, drawers. So yeah, let's make our way back to the living room. And I'm gonna show you guys the balcony. I spent a lot of time out here, honestly. But let me close this again. And if you guys have seen my other videos when I was searching for apartment, you know I just live for a floor to ceiling glass door moment. Like I love that, love, love, love that. But yeah, out here on the balcony, little um, table and chairs. So yeah, I'm in the Montes de Ame neighborhood, which I love because right across the street from this building, you have a grocery store right there with the, um, the Ikea, right there. That is the grocery store. So you can literally walk there, but then you look out at this beautiful view and then right down here is the pool. Look at that. So yeah, you have the main pool there. And then right over here, I thought it was a hot tub, but when I go down there, I don't really see any like controls to, you know, regulate the temperature. So maybe it's just a kiddie pool. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Uh, but then over there, you have an Olympic size lap pool, which I love. But yeah, it's the view for me. It's the view. But also, I do wanna be completely honest with you guys. If you can see this building right there, right there, um, they're doing construction, so it can get kind of loud honestly so that's something to keep in mind as well that um i think they're adding on to this like apartment building so yeah it's um it's loud 
it's loud at certain points throughout the day. But yeah, let me show you the view from, from the balcony looking into the apartment. So yeah, I love it. Super open concept. And this is the first one I've seen like with this type of AC unit. And it comes out on all four sides there. Oh my God, I left the door open. But yeah, so the last tenant that lives here, um, they left me some goodies and I am so appreciative. Look at all of this. <laughs> Look at all of this, like Jose Cuervo, some Malibu, some vodka, wine. It's, it's a lot of stuff. Like, I don't drink that often, but whenever I want to, it is there for me. So if you ever see this video, previous tenant, thank you for that. I really, really appreciate that. So when you come out, elevator, it's kind of dark. This is the pool area. So yeah, this is the pool area. I love, probably come out here like every other day. So yeah, they're doing construction. You guys can probably hear that. That's the lap pool over there. And then uh, there's a lot of amenities, which is why, you know, the price is what it is, but I totally love it. You can see I don't really use the gym often. I don't even know. Oh, it's open. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, this is the gym area here. You know, it has your basics, treadmills, um, like a little, I don't know what that's called, but you know, all purpose type station, some free weights over there and a mirror. And there's Wi-Fi throughout the entire building. So I really, really love that. All right, so this is like a media room, which I love. You can come in here and chill out anytime. Don't have to reserve it or anything. And boom, there's also a pool table and foosball table. So I love that. There's the uh, balls and racks over there. And it looks into like the playroom. So you can, uh, you know, keep an eye on your kids if you're in here. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. So yeah, this is the Sky Lounge. I love the view. Sometimes I come up here to get some work done and it's really never anyone up here, which I love. But yeah, let me show you the view. Isn't that nice? So nice. So yeah, this is like a sky lounge, but it's a co-working space. All right, back downstairs. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys like the apartment. Um, I love it. I'm actually gonna miss it. Um, Gladys, which is the owner, she's super, super nice. Really? Um, sorry about that. But yeah, if you guys need anything, Gladys was super nice. Um, I could text her anytime and she would respond, usually within the same hour. 
Um, but yeah, I actually found this apartment on Airbnb. Um, the funny thing is I found it as I was like flying to Mexico. So I didn't even have a place booked. I was like literally in the air looking for different places. And I came across this one on Airbnb. But um, the price on Airbnb was, it was up there. And I had been to Medina, Mexico before. So I knew that, you know, this was kind of, this was like the gringo price, the gringo price. <laughs> so I actually, I contacted her on Airbnb, just kind of gave her a quick rundown that, hey, I'm coming from the United States for a couple months. Uh, just looking for a place to call home with reliable internet, you know, clean and a safe area. Uh, and I asked her if I could look at it in person before, you know, booking it. And she agreed to that. So when I landed in Mexico, I went straight to the apartment. Uh, I loved it immediately. It has like 24 hour security. There is a uh, security guard on the first floor. Super, super secure. Like you need a fob to get in the building to um, access the elevator. So really, really safe. That was one of the things I really liked about it. But um, on, I think Airbnb, she had it listed for more than I paid. So I actually got it for uh, a little lower. I reached out to her directly and ended up getting it for around $800 total, which was freaking awesome, uh, which was awesome. That included, of course, my rent, uh, my electricity, my Wi-Fi, and my water. So all of the utilities were included in that. There was a separate fee for like uh, laundry and cleaning, which was roughly around like 500 pesos for each service. So it wasn't too bad, um, but yeah, so everything was included. I didn't have any extra bills, which I love. Um, I didn't have to pay a deposit, which was really, really just great. So a lot of homes in Mexico, as a foreigner, sometimes you have to pay um, three to four month deposit up front before you move in. So, ooh, I'm sweating. So me finding that deal, that really, really worked out. Um, you have access to all of the amenities here. Um, on the ground level of the building, you had, I think four restaurants, like a brunch spot, um, a taco spot, like an Italian spot, a Japanese spot, and like a drink bar. And then on like a level above that, they had like a kickboxing studio. I didn't get a chance to go there, but I knew they did like classes every Sunday, which uh, was pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll definitely leave the contact information below in the description box. And just let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the home.